the tyranny was not going to stop till every small business was shut down. Four years on, and you might have thought people would have realised that the never-ending lockdowns were just part of the agenda. But people kept compliant, including most of the business owners who surprisingly didn't question what was happening. What would it take for humanity to realise what was going on? I couldn't believe that people didn't clock on to the biggest giveaway of them all. The huge stream of money that poured into the economy out of nowhere. Surely that was the giveaway. Anyway, it was easy for us to close businesses at the corporation because the fear had set in strong. People were completely frozen, silenced and muffled by their own guilt as they saw society collapse around them. We knew what was happening and we kept together, doing what we had to do. It felt good knowing we were united and in my role, I felt empowered. I am just getting what I can while I can. I've got a two bedroom flat in Shoreditch, there's a nice gym around there and I'm moving up the ranks. I'm surrounded by men and I'm comfortable with that. Some of them look hot or suited and booted, so what's not to like? I should be able to buy a place back home as well and rent it out, bring in some extra income. It might be nice to get it for the summer actually. Hopefully I'll land the perfect assignment. Even though lockdowns never worked and all the data was there telling us so, the media did a great job at brainwashing people to be convinced otherwise. They got away with murder, literally. There were more suicides and breakdowns than ever before. It was bleak times. But for us in our positions of authority, we had the life of luxury. People would never believe that they actually wanted to close small businesses. I had always been envious of people who took the leap and set up business on their own. I never had it in me. I always wanted to, but I'm very good at my job, and this pays better in the long run. The guys were saying the higher ups would be resetting the system in some way. That's why the economy is being shut down. But it shouldn't affect me, should it? I closed up 10 businesses today. I know the owner's not happy, but I'm very chuffed with myself. It was hard work with all the monitoring, assessments and form filling, but I always felt complete at the end of the day. I wonder how Tony's doing. Oh, hey babe. Alicia, how are you doing love? Yeah, I'm good. I heard about that big job in the city, in the pub. I'm going to go and check it out. Yeah, I've got a couple of vigilantes who are headed for the suburbs. So, when are you coming over? Once I'm done with these, I want to take some time off. I'm in one of the compounds at the moment. Interesting place. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to be in the city later anyway. Maybe I can pop over after I've uh, scouted out. Alright, sounds good. Alright love, you take care. Okay, bye babe. Bye. The tyranny was the outcome of a passive society, so why were people getting angry? Society followed rules outlined by the media channels, government and big business, and then were confused by the extreme measures when they were imposed. What did people expect? You could say I was doing their dirty work, but I was satisfied with my part. I had a good life, and they were the ones living a lie. They couldn't understand how the system had to shift and without something catastrophic, it never could. Will you create the shift in your life or do you want to return to a normality that never even existed?